this video we're going to be introducing the lattice method of multiplication and I won't get into too much of the history here but this is an old technique it's the predecessor to long multiplication as we know it so long multiplication typically what we do is we take the numbers and we stack them and what that might look like if you're doing let's say two times three well, instead of writing it as a sentence and getting 6, what you might do for long multiplication is to multiply it out like this. 3 times 2, put a line here to say you're getting 6. And this is just writing it as a number sentence, and here is writing it as a long multiplication. But we are interested in lattice multiplication, which is our predecessor to this technique right here. And what we do for lattice multiplication is just write it in a different format. 3 times 2 can be written on a grid with the answers located in this box right here. And we put the answer in here. This would mean 3 times 2 with an answer of 6. Let's try some more. What if I wanted to do um, 4 times 2? What would I get? Well. I get 8 and I put it right here in the lattice grid. But what happens when I try 5 times 2? Well now the answer 10 has 2 digits. And what we do in lattice multiplication is split those digits up by place value by putting a line right here. Now 2 times 5 is 10. So before we even put anything, let's think about what that means. 10 means you have 1 here, representing 1, 10, and 0 there, representing no 1s. So in lattice multiplication, we put the answer like this, but what this would mean is that any number that you place on this side of the line represents the 10s place, and any number you represent on this side of the line would represent the 1s place. So if we were to write the answer as 10, we would put it like this, a 1 here in the tens column, and then a 0 here in the ones column. And then ultimately, now the lattice method will build off of this, but there's only one number in each column, so we just write a 1 here and a 0 there, and the answer is 10. I could read that because this number right here represents 1, 10, and this represents 0, 1s, the number is 10. Let's try some more like that. We'll do one by one multiplication with a carry. And then we'll move on in the next video to one by two combinations. So what if I had five times three? Well, the answer is 15. But how do we show that in lattice multiplication? Well, again, we have this line here saying that the answer is going to be 15. Well, let's put one here because one ten and five ones there. And that's my answer. 15, which is 1, 10, and five ones. I bring the answers out here, and you'll see why that makes a lot of sense and is important to do that, bring the numbers out as the grid becomes larger. But this answer reads 15, 1, 10, and five ones. Let's try some more. What about eight times six? Again, set the grid up. Oops, move that over. Split the grid up with a line. Now the answer is 48. So what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to put a 4 here and an 8 here. Because this top half of the grid represents the tens, right? And this part right here represents the ones. And 48 is really made from 4 tens and 8 ones. Right, if you ever thought of the number 48, it's just 40, 4 tens plus 8 ones. And we're showing that right here in the lattice grid. Let's try two more just to make sure we're comfortable with this topic before we move on. Let's try 7 times 7. Well, what is 7 times 7? You might recognize it's 49. So the question is, with the lattice method, what do we do? Well, if the number is 49, that means we have 4 tens and 9 ones. 
And then we can put our answer here, 49. And let's finish off with the largest combination of two one-digit numbers, 9 by 9. What's 9 times 9? Well, that's 81. And 81 really is, well, it's 8 tens and 1 1. And we can put our answer out here. And that's just a basic introduction to lattice multiplication. As this builds up, I think you'll really have fun with it. Let's look at the next video at 2 by 1 combinations. Thanks.